Hi, I'm at a very noisy location. There are a lot of people outside and it's kind of raining, so I don't know how much of that you will be able to hear. But I wanted to share with you a very interesting and quick, well, kind of quick workaround on how to sync two or more cameras with an external audio recorder after syncing everything with Pluralize. So, very simply, you have the bins here, camera A, camera B, and in this case, an H4N. And then we have four clips for A, for the camera A, four clips for the camera B, and we should expect to see, there we go, four clips for the sound recorder. So the best way to do this, the fastest way to do this, is select any clip from the camera A or camera B, and create a new sequence from that clip. Why? Because this uh, Adobe is going to be extracting all the settings from the camera and you don't have to worry about uh, frame rate and uh, any, any settings. It's going gonna, it's gonna to match that. I like to always rename my sequences. So let's call this se sequence version 1. And just for our digital hygiene, let's keep everything organized here under sequences and let's move that sequence into the sequences bin okay so now here's here's the trick we're gonna move the four clips from camera a to track one and it moves with its corresponding sound we're gonna move the four clips from camera b to the next track with its corresponding uh, sound scratch sound and now we're going to move the four tracks from the field recorder it could be a task cam it could be uh, a, in this case a zoom it doesn't matter so as we can see the sound was recorded as a mono track for some reason and we're going to just simply go to our channels which shows here we're going to go left left and it's going to uh, now mix everything as a stereo. And now we're ready to sync using Pluralize. So we simply go to our extensions and call Pluralize. Pluralize is, uh, here's the dialog, and we need to make sure that the sequence that we're selecting, sequence V1, is the actual sequence we would like to synchronize and then we go ahead and say yes and Pluralize does a great job syncing everything we don't need this dialogue anymore and as you can see we have some gaps here and here simply because the two cameras uh, were not recording or didn't start recording at the same time which is perfectly fine Pluralize builds a new sequence. As you can see, sequence V1 synced is a new sequence. So now we don't need our original sequence. We're going to close that. And it's actually saved within the bin, the sequences bin that we created. That's why it's nice to create it in advance. We don't need any of these open. And here's the trick. We're going to select all the clips with its their corresponding sound, the scratch sound, from camera A and camera B, and we're going to nest these tracks. And we're going to call this nest V1. Okay. Now, if we go to our multicam sequence or our, in our program uh, window, we only see one camera. And this is not what we want. We want to edit a multicam sequence. So, for some reason, this went back to mono. We're going to go back to stereo. And the trick is we're going to select the nested track and we are going to enable multi-camera. That's the trick. That's what can make a lot of people crazy. And immediately, we have camera A, camera B, so instead of full resolution, I'm cutting this on a laptop. So we're going to go to 1 16th. It's going to go faster and I don't need to create any proxies. And if we hit here, multi-camera record on and off this little button, we can start cutting right away. So 
from camera B to camera A, camera B, camera A, camera B. So of course I wouldn't be cutting this fast, I just want to show you how this looks. And as I was clicking camera A, camera B, the cuts are made in the timeline. And we can mute camera A and camera B because we don't need them and we want to isolate, we want to solo the tracks for the H4n. For this intro, I'm using two cameras. The A cam, which is the main camera, is the one I'm looking at right now. The camera B, the one I'm looking at right now. And we can do this all day long with as many cameras as we want. So the secret is to bring each camera individually to a different track, then sync with Pluralize, then nest the cameras and the scratch sound, mute those tracks, use only the, the clean sound from the external recorder, and then you have your multi-camera sequence ready to go. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, this has saved me a lot of time. And if you want more information like this, just visit one person crew, number one person crew .com. Thank you for watching.